Hi everyone, welcome to our channel, Rebecca Stu and the crew. I'm Rebecca, today is Thursday, so that means it's time for another DIY video. I saw these on Etsy, they were like $55, and we're going to try to recreate these on a budget. So let's go over our supplies first. We're going to use some Dollar Tree ribbon, the Chevron and Burlap black and white ribbon. We're also going to use some of their greenery one of their charger plates just as a template. We'll need one sheet of the ready foam board and then we'll need one of the bath sponges. From Walmart, we're going to use the Waverly Clear Wax, their mineral chalk paint, and we'll also use their antiquing wax. From the Dollar Tree, I'm going to use the black chalkboard paint and then we'll need some painter's tape and I'm going to use a roller or a straight edge. You'll need a tray and I am going to use rubber gloves that's optional you'll need a tray to kind of mix and dab your paint and I'm going to use these little cups for the paint you'll also need a razor blade some scissors a paintbrush and something to write with I'm going to use one of the Dollar Tree black paint pens in one of their metal words that they sell around Thanksgiving time in this three pack and one of their metal stylus to create some lines on the ready foam board we're also going to use one of their um, emery boards from the cosmetic aisle and some hot glue. So let's get crafty. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take that charger plate from the Dollar Tree, lay it upside down on our ready foam board, and we're just going to trace around it. I feel that this makes the perfect size um, faux wood sign, and it's you know bigger than a plate, but not too large. I really liked it a lot. And you're going to draw two circles if you want to make both of these projects. And you can fit both of these on one piece of foam board with plenty left over. Now we're going to take our razor blade and we're just going to cut along that line and we're going to go all the way through the foam board because we want to cut this completely out. And once you get it all the way through, it should pop right out of the foam board. Once you have both circles cut out, we're going to do the exact same thing to both pieces. We're going to take our um, emery board here. And we're just going to lightly sand the edges to smooth those nice and smooth where you have those little cut lines. And then we're going to take a ruler and we're going to do this for both of our circles. We're just going to trace a straight edge down um, across the sides of the middle there. And then we're just going to move the ruler down this black one here is actually the Dollar Tree ruler, so it's the same size as that other one I was using to make these stripes across the circles. So then I take the little metal stylus from the Dollar Tree craft section, and I'm just going to trace over those lines that I just drew on just the first one that we're making, because this is going to have like a shiplap appearance. The other one's just going to be painted. So you don't wanna do this to both circles, just do this to the first one. And you're just going to go ahead and trace those lines. And as you can see for the lines that look like the shiplap, I do break all the way through that top layer of paper. But you don't want to go too far down. You'd want to just break through the paper there. Then I took a dowel rod and I just poked some like holes. This is to make it look like a knot in the wood or the faux wood that we're creating. And then we're going to take the edge of the dowel rod and just draw some wood grain lines into the um, foam board here. You don't go crazy. You just want to do some. You want it to look realistic. And for a more detailed um, explanation of how to do the foam board to look like wood grain, there's a YouTube channel called the Peppermint Cactus. It's also on Facebook. And that's how I learned how to do this process. And what we're going to do is this bottom here, I left a larger stripe. It was the distance between two stripes of the ruler there. That's how wide it is. And we just paint, we just tape that off with some painter's tape. And now we're going to start doing our faux wood appearance and we're going to do that with the paint I showed earlier. So you're going to take some antiquing wax, some of the chalk mineral paint and the clear wax and you're just going to dab this all together on one of those bath sponges. I just cut down to these smaller pieces and then you wanna kind of just dab into those little knots that you created and then just work your wax and your paint back and forth across the foam board 
And as you do this, magic happens. I'm not sure how this works or why it works, but it looks like real wood by the time you're finished. It is absolutely amazing. So this is my first layer at the top and the bottom. And as you can see, it's kind of light. It's a little bit hard still to see the wood grain look that we drew there. Then I go back into just the antiquing wax for the second layer and the clear wax. And then I just go over this one more time and smear that around and really get that wood grain to start popping up. I feel like the darker colors really help to grab those little lines and make it have that real wood look. And this is in real time. I didn't speed this part of the video up at all. So you guys can see it really doesn't take any time at all to do this. So now that we have that whole top layer done, you can do the back as well if you want to have a finished look on the back. And then I also took this sponge and I worked um, the same color all the way around the edges because I wanted this whole thing to look like real wood and I didn't want that foam board to be showing along the edge and then have the appearance of it being fake. And you just wanna lightly rub that all the way around the edges there. Once that's all dry, go ahead and remove your painter's tape. You do wanna be real careful around the edges here. You don't wanna lift that top layer of paper up on the edge. So as you're peeling it away from those edges, just do it very carefully holding on to the edge there so you're not ripping up that top layer of paper off of the foam board. So now I wanna color this section just a little bit. So I took the mineral chalk paint and then the clear wax and I just did a thin layer of that over this stripe here, just to add a little bit of color. Then I took my metal word from the Dollar Tree and some of the black um, chalk paint from Dollar Tree and a sponge and I just sponge it right on top of the metal word just because that was the coloring that I wanted to use for my sign but of course you can do anything any word really that you like in any design or pattern and color. Now we're going to make our bow while that's all drying so you just want to take your um, chevron ribbon here from the Dollar Tree and you're just going to create various loop sizes depends on how big you want your bow to be. Um, four loops are plenty. You can do five or six if you want it a lot bigger and more full, but I find four loops are plenty to make a bow. So then all you're going to do is pinch those together in the middle till you have all four together. Then you can use twine, some ribbon, some floral wire, whatever you have on hand to tie this bow off in the center. I ended up adding a Dollar Tree flower right to the center of the bow. I just liked the way that it looked and I just attached it right to the center with some hot glue. I'm also going to create a tail. So I'm just going to add a little dot of hot glue to this piece of ribbon and then fold it up to a triangle and attach it together. And then I'm going to go ahead and flip the bow over and just attach it to the back of the bow with some more hot glue. Once everything's dry, you just want to attach your bow to the top of your sign. As you can see, I already have the flower attached. And then we're going to take the greenery and we're going to add a little bit to each side of the um, bow here. And we're just going to do it right underneath of that loop and right on top of the tail that we created. And you'll do the same thing to both sides. So then to add the metal word, I did use some super glue. It's the Gorilla Glue um, super glue gel. 
I like to use this for the metal words. I don't have a lot of luck with using a hot glue gun in these metal words. I don't know if I'm just too slow. And by the time I try to attach it, the glue has already started to dry because it's cold or what. But I just have a really bad time trying to get things to attach with the hot glue if it's a metal, um, like aluminum word like these are. So I'm going to go ahead and use the hot, the um, super glue to attach mine. So then once I had it attached here, I really like the farmhouse look where it looks like the word goes all the way to the edge of the sign and kind of wraps around. So I'm going to take the Dollar Tree paint marker and just add a little bit of a swirly edge to the letter E and the letter W to make it look like the word wraps all the way around the sign. And then these are really light. So for the hanger, I just added a um, paper clip to the back using some hot glue because all the weight of these signs is simply in the bow and it's not very heavy. So a paper clip is plenty to add to the back of this as a hanger. So this is our first one done. We're, obviously, we've already cut the circle and drew the lines and taped it off with painter's tape and sanded the edges down when we did the first one. So now we're just going to go ahead and apply the paint. So I'm just using the mineral paint and a sponge brush. And I do a first coat. I set that aside to dry and I ended up doing a second coat because I wanted it to look more like paint and not like wood grain since this one was going to be a little bit different. And for this one, we did the same size stripes all the way down. I didn't leave a bigger space for that banner like we did on the last one. And you'll want to paint the edges of your sign as well. So once it's dry, you're going to go ahead and paint a second coat on that. So while that is drying, what I did is I sketched out the word hi on another piece of foam board. It was some excess from the circles that we cut. And then I just cut that out with the razor blade that I have, the X-Acto knife. And then I took the emery board and I sanded the sides and inside that letter H there to smooth those out. The idea with this letter, with this foam board word high is to make it look like a piece of wood sitting on top of the sign here. So I just took the antiquing wax and the clear wax and I covered the top layer of this and then I did do all the edges. So now that the sign is dry, we're just going to remove that paint painter's tape. And then you can add the word high, like I said, just as all white, or you can go ahead and put the antiquing wax on to look like a piece of wood. So then we made the same bow the same way we did the last one. Of course, we added another flower right to the center. And I made a tail as well, but I added that in a different way. So I decided to go ahead and just glue the tail right to the sign instead of the back of the bow. You could do it either way. It doesn't really matter which way you do it. I just attached the top of the bow and then we're going to go ahead and add some greenery to this one as well. So for this one, I used some eucalyptus that I had from an old project. I just had some excess that I hadn't used. So I did use the eucalyptus for this one. I believe I got this at Walmart for $2 for a large bundle of it. We just want to glue it on the exact same way we did the last one. So I actually saw these on an Etsy shop on Pinterest. They were about $55. Of course, they're made out of real wood, but it was really fun to make these. They cost me about $2, $2.50 to make. And I mean, really, I think I made both of them for under $5. So that was a lot of fun to see how I could create my own version of these on a budget. I used the super glue to attach the word high right to the center. And it attaches pretty quickly. I think it says it's like a 10 second hold. I could have used hot glue there, but I just had the super glue out. So I went ahead and used that as well. 
And again, for the back for the um, hanger, I'm just adding a paper clip with some hot glue. Once I have that attached, I did add a little bit more hot glue to the back. And if you want to, like I said, you can paint the backs of these to give it more of a finished look. I actually did the welcome sign. I painted the back one, and this one I didn't paint the back. And this is the one that says, hi, all finished. I love the coloring of this one. I think it's really pretty. I like how it turned out. And I really love the wood grain one. I hope you guys do too. If you enjoyed this DIY video, I post them every Thursday. And then on Fridays, I post what is new for the week at the Dollar Tree. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And here are some other videos from our channel that you might also enjoy. Have a great day, everyone.